Okay, violin and viola players, welcome back to our shifting lesson. This is part two. If you haven't watched part one, you need to go back and watch part one so you can get an introduction to shifting and practice some of those shifting techniques from first to third position. But if you've done that, we're going to go on to um, this sheet that I have available in this module um, called Starting to Shift. Um, I have the violin one right here. If you're viola, get the viola one. It's the same kind of music, but in alto clef. You need this. I printed it out for myself. If you don't have the ability to print it out, then you need to put it on your tablet or you need to open it on your computer so you can see it. I'm going to try to put the exercises in the video as I go along, but you're probably going to want this uh, music out. You're eventually going to play these for me in a little blend quiz, so you'll want this music later, okay? So, um, make sure you have your instrument. This is a play along video. Make sure it's in tune. Make sure you're able to see those mu that music. If you need to do that right now, go ahead and pause the video. Okay, hopefully if you've unpaused, you have all those things. If you already had all those things, we had a nice little awkward moment of silence there. Okay, so let's go on. Um, we're gonna look at the first four lines on this page today and I, I might look over because that's where my music is but um, before we jump into the music let's do a, just a couple shifting warm-ups so we're gonna go B pause D actually no first we're gonna go siren keeping that finger down moving the whole hand with the thumb included up, make sure you have a look mom no hands position, make sure you're sitting nice and tall. And let's do some sirens together. Let's do three sirens. Ready, set, ready, go. B, slide, D, D, slide, D. shifting, which is we're going to lift that finger up and glide on top of the string. And let's pause the bow in between. Uh, and so let's do that. So we're going to go B, glide, D. So you still might hear a little slidey. Let's try three of those. Ready, warming up. Moving the whole hand. the bow in between. So we're going to go B, lift and glide, pause the bow. So in that rest you're shifting. Try three of those and warm it up. grip of death, you don't have that pizza wrist, and you're still nice and tall while you're doing these, taking that whole hand with you. Okay, so now let's look at the first line of this music here. Line number one. So if we look at this, it looks like the first two measures, oh yes, we get to use our third finger. We just start in first position. You'll see in the next two measures it's the same note, but now we're going to shift. We're only going to use the first finger for those notes. So let's try um, that together. Let's try um, starting at the beginning of line number one. Try to eliminate those little um, slides in between the shift. Ready, set. Line number one. Now we're going 
it shift. Shift. Try to tune it. Shift back down. All right, so if you're not quite in tune when you're shifting, just work to fix it. It doesn't need to be perfect right now. Just see if you can adjust it. Let's try that one more time together. It's just like the warm-ups we've been doing. Start in first position, then shift. Ready? Set first line one more time. Line number two now. So we have the same notes going on, same rhythms, just half notes, but now we're just switching around um, when we shift and when we don't. So we're gonna start in first position, normal first finger and third finger. Second measure is the same notes, but now we're gonna shift. Shift. The next measure, we're gonna shift back down. Shift down and stay there. Does that make sense? Let's try it together. So start back in first position. Shake out that hand a little bit. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Check that wrist. No grip of death. Ready, set, second line, go. Try to match. down, third finger, let's try that one more time without me talking in between so you can hear yourself, ready, set, ready, go, second line, shifts is that you're not hearing those little slides. You probably hear little slides in mine too. I'm working on that all the time. And you still might hear some little slidey parts in yours. That's okay. Just work to keep eliminating those. Controlling that right arm, those little pauses in between, and making sure we're gliding on top and we're not getting those big slidey sounds. All right. So now that we've gone between B and D with some easy um, half notes, let's look at line number three. So line number three, we're gonna be shifting right away here. See how it has a little minus one? That doesn't mean like low one or anything. Um, whenever you see that little dash, that usually means shifting. So before I put those little lines connecting them, you're not gonna see that in normal music. That's just to help you on those first two lines. What you're normally gonna see in music is if you shift, they might put a little dash before. So looking at measure number one, it just says one, one, one. So you're going to go one, shift. So check out that rhythm. Getting a faster shift now. Try the first measure. Ready, go. Nice. So now you're in third position. Look at the next measure. One, one, one again. Starting in third position, D, shift. So starting with first finger on D, let's do the second measure. Ready, set, and go. Shift. So let's try one and two, measures one and two together. Ready, set, ready with the shift. quite get that pause and do it a few more times on your own. Let's look at measure three and four now. So measure three, oh my gosh, it looks just like measure one. We can do that no problem. Try measure three, ready, start in first position, go. Great. So now here you are for the last measure. You're gonna play first finger in third position on the D. And then we throw in an open D. The reason I do this is so you can kind of compare and tune. 
Try the fourth measure with me. Ready, go. Nice. So you can use that D to your advantage. If you're not in tune, wiggle that finger around until you find the right intonation there. Let's try measure three and four together. So go, you might want to shake out your hand. I know it's doing a lot of exercises right now. Go back to first position. We're going to measure three of the third line. We're going to go shift. Start on first position, go. All right, if you didn't quite get that, you can pause and try it a few more times on your own. Now let's put it together. So all of line number three. Watch that rhythm. We're getting slightly faster shifts now. Go back to first position. Check that grip of death. Do you have the grip of death? Do you have pizza wrist? Are you sitting straight and tall? Are you people out back trying to hang on the hook? I don't know. I can't hear you, but hopefully you hug. Okay. Ready? Third line. One, two, and ready, go. again with me just back it up a few seconds and try that again um, but now we're getting faster shifts all right last line um, for today for this video I should say we're going to add a note in third position so let's add one more note E so now what you're gonna do find third position first finger on your D okay go ahead and find it So now we're going to add the note above it. So where your fourth finger normally goes, now we're going to put our second finger on it, right on that tape. And that's our E, right? For violins, it's like our open E. For violas, um, that's like where you would play fourth finger E. So go ahead and find that second finger. E with your second finger in third position. Violins, if you have an E string, the two, right? Violas, if you don't, just use your ears and use a tuner if you have it and figure out if you're in tune. Okay, so now we're going to be dealing with D, first finger, and E, second finger. So if you look um, at this fourth line here, and for violins, you have some open E's. For violas, you just have second finger E's the whole time, but for violins, um, where it says open E, play your open E. If it says second finger, play your second finger. The reason I did that is so you can hear the open E and compare it to your second finger. So if I'm a violin, I'm going to start in third position. I'm going to play D, and then open E, back to D, and second finger. After that, we just do it backwards. Second finger, open E. Violas, you're just playing ones and twos the whole time. Trying to target where that fourth finger goes. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. We're starting in third position. Make sure your thumb isn't back here in first position. Get it back up there in the third position. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Nice wrist here. And let's go starting in third position. Line number four, D's and E's. Ready? Line number four. D's and E's is line number five. We're in line number four, starting in measure 13. Ready, set, ready, go. So, 
If you need to do that a couple more times, go ahead and pause it. Go back and try it on your own. Make sure that E is nice and in tune. In the next video, we'll cover the next half of the page, all right? So um, practice that shift up and down and practice that new note E. Good luck.